Welcome back. I'm still fine tuning the audio, so let me know what you think. In this video, we're gonna take a look at inserting HTML into our emails. So we have our HTML here, and we wanna make sure it renders like we would expect HTML to render. We wanna make sure our unordered list looks like an unordered list. Let's go ahead and jump over to our emails. We got two different emails here. Now this first one, we did not set the content type inside the message headers, and well, it just stayed as the default plain text. As you can see, we got our plain text here. It did not render our HTML. On the second one, we did set that header and look, our unordered list, well, it looks like an unordered list. So let's go ahead and take a look at HTML emails. Um, so like I said, the default is plain text um, and it's uniformly gonna break at each line about 78 characters. Um, so we wanna make sure we set that header so that way it uses uh, uh, text slash HTML as, as that. Uh, fair warning, uh, kind of a rare case, but uh, those who receive uh, services that receive emails, well, they are required to support plain text, but not HTML formatting. Um, it would, I would say it would be pretty rare, but it is possible. Anyway, uh, looking at email, we're gonna be using the meme type, which is the multi-purpose internet mail extension. So this is gonna allow us to uh, use more than just ASCII, more uh, other uh, character sets, you know, multimedia and other different things. So looking at uh, meme type, we have our, you know, inside our meme headers, we're gonna be looking at content type in particular. And the content type, like we had said uh, previously, the default um, for content type is text slash plain. So this header field indicates the media type of the message content consisting of type and subtype. So we have our type and we have our subtype. But the one that we're gonna be interested in is the text slash HTML. So let's go ahead and jump over to our code. So everything looks about the same as what, what we had before. Uh, inside of our message headers, we have that all separated. We have this extra line here from the message body. And inside the headers, you know, of course, we have our header fields, our separator, which is semicolon, you know, then the value. And each one of these has to have a return and new line. So return is returning it to the left side of the screen and new lines bringing it down one, uh, just like an old school typewriter. Uh, Anyway, this is our, we're setting our meme type. This one you could, you might be able to get away with, but we're just putting it in there for good measure. But anyway, this one, if you do not have this in here, this will, uh, it will just kick out that raw text before. So um, to create that first email, I just commented this out. And that's how I got the raw, just that raw unrendered HTML text. So the content type, you know, we want to make sure that's set to text slash HTML, and then we can also set the character set. Now, like I said, we have to have that line in between. So here's our, we have a, a return a new line here, but we also have one here. So this is our blank line. So that way uh, the service knows like, hey, we have our, our content, our message headers, you know, because, I'm sorry, message headers, we have our blank line to separate the two. Okay, so everything after this is my message body. And being that we set the text slash HTML, we know that this is going to be HTML. Uh, this is the same thing as this line here. This is just showing if you don't want to take up a whole lot of space, you can put it all on one line. Um, but if you want it easier to read, you could put it like this. So uh, this is just one of the different content types. There's several others, but um, just real quick, real easy. This is how you can put uh, HTML into your emails. I hope this was helpful. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.